I got this urge. I got a pond right there. It's not real deep. And it runs up a slough right there and it drains into the creek when it overflows. There's another pond over there. And I saw some geese down here and they didn't have anywhere to hide out. So I decided I'm gonna dig this crazy deep. It's gonna just get smaller and smaller. It's gonna pop out right there. And there'll be a little island right there. And then in a few minutes, well maybe hours, who knows, I'll bust that out. And every bit of the water out of the pond is probably going to fill up this hole. I'm telling you, it is not deep. So if you're just joining us for this video, every bit of that water out there is going to fill up this hole. Maybe. Because it's not that deep. I've worked hard on the fine art of don't die on an uh, excavator. The bearded one needed a break and let me drive when he was digging the bottle zone. And it was pretty deep. going to come right through here and try to keep some of the green grass as part of the island not a whole lot and then uh pop a top again and it's going to fill up right here that's going to be so cool there's so many mosquitoes and gnats and bugs out here that it makes it even more fun i'm surprised that that dirt halfway looks like dirt because everything i pulled out over on this other spot over here was clay. That's <laughs> so cozy, isn't it? Like, you could just lay on it. But then it dries to concrete. And this area here, all around here, I dug as absolutely as deep as I could with that machine reaching in there and grabbing scoops without falling over into the pond which almost happened a few times right over there and uh that's about it we have caught some pretty fair sized bass out of here one crappie and uh i'm excited can you tell these aren't my new feet i went to get some new shoes my kids make fun of me because I went to get some new shoes and they said, Geronimo said, don't you already have those? She said, aren't those the ones you already have? And I said, no, because I buy a pair of shoes like, I wait till the whole bottom's gone. And uh, I said, they're just, <laughs> I bought the same ones, long story short. Look at how deep it is. I need to show you his spot he started doing the same thing on his property with the same excavator because we got into this excavator addiction thing we've had it two weeks and uh he's got an artesian well in his yard straight from artesia and he started digging and a hole that big there was always been holes in the ground with water in them but when he started digging, it was like a hose, like somebody stuck a whole hose outside of it. And it's almost full now. So that's the plan. Dirt over here. Now this is clay too, I suppose. Let me show you how to make an excavator guy mad. That's another video. 
these are bottles of water. Golf ball's out of the field. Go for a battery. And then y'all just uh, watch them right there. Hey, that's a good thumbnail, isn't it? I think so too. Freeze frame that. Okay, I will. If you ever need to hire an excavator driver, I know a good one. He's holding the camera. The other guy's digging a hole right now. Oh, I just got the dirt. That's getting a little water in it. It's gonna be so cool. I think I've made another decision here. It's so hard to do anything when you need some of these. I haven't seen my garden this year. It's watermelon, squash, and cantaloupe. All in the same spot between that flag and that flag. It's gonna be amazing. Hey, there I go. Now when the beard one was in Japan, he bought a GoPro. So y'all need to uh, encourage him through the comments on this one to start videos. His pond is pretty cool too. This one was here. I'll just step in something. Oh no. Remember when you was a kid and you played football in the neighborhood? old lady's yard and she was the only one that had a decent flat yard I was terrible at football I just played and you'd start rolling and you'd fall down and the next thing you know you'd get up and you'd have dog droppings on you I probably don't remember that you know the fish love it when you stir stuff up in the water and this settles pretty good we're supposed to get some rain sometime this year it's it's amazing to me. Let me give you some perspective. Is that perspective? You can't really tell anything in a GoPro. I'm gonna get rid of this thing. I'm just kidding, it's all I have on this. I need that camera to stood on the ground. We're getting close. Once this is down that deep, Let's simply come over here and get really close and then open it up. But then you gotta go back over there and open that up because this is supposed to be in his land all by itself. I need to find a tick. Have you ever went in the woods and did this with grass? You have three or four ticks in your hand? Me either. I thought that was a, a deer track, but now that I look at it closer, there's a goose track. Oh, look at this track. Right there. Size nine and a half. It's crazy. Closer. I thought I just felt the raindrop. I don't think it's going to rain today. This is the only part of the uh, base camp that I have semi-destroyed. It'll look a lot better when I smooth everything out and get rid of the piles. But up there is more solid woods. So what I hadn't figured out yet is, okay, so let's assume we dig out this spot first so the water rushes in. You just drive over here and the water rushes in. But then you gotta go over here and dig this out. So we're off to see the wizard. And we're gonna figure out. You know what, we're here. Oh. This is what happens when you 
whole family leaves you. You're the only ant left. I saw you. Oh, there's three ants left. Four. <laughs> Check it out. This is even a better view. You got your good three to six inches of top, so I actually don't even have that down here. Big pile of dirt you got there. Well, thank you. This is gonna be so cool, isn't it? Digging a hole just to see it fill up. My bride sent me a message. The bearded one's bride and my bride's up at the base camp. They sent me a message said, Y'all got a problem. Sometimes it can be really judgmental. It hurts me. down there so you could see it fill up had kind of string to it but it'd be neat to see if a bunch of fish and alligators come out of here because i know uncle 
Martin has been here before. There's probably big baby alligators in here. there I thought we were there he said doing some foundation hole integrity is a must out here of course we will not be refilling these holes
check levels. We know we're about that high on those bushes now. It's almost full. Oh my goodness. That took seconds. Let's go. Well, okay, so it didn't drain the pond. We gotta open up that side now. The goal was to have a little island here for the geese. And for the island girl, as Elton John would say. It's so deep. Ah, <laughs> oh, foot just fell sideways in the mud. Like I say, the goal is that's going to be an island. The tree's going to be in the island. I'm going to build a, a home there. It's going to be beautiful. couple of good rains and if the earth will stop spinning all this dirt will settle down really really fast so now he's going to come over here and I'll have to completely get out of the way and open it up right here so it's a little bitty island hmm it is so cool a house I had in the past we had a pool put in the backyard and it had massive oaks and I had them cut down but I I left them semi-tall like the guy building the pool told me to so he could push them over. I don't know why he said that because he showed it with the excavator, excavator about half that size to dig the whole spot out for the pool and all those oak trees. That's a little, little side note. So now I can tell everybody I own an island when it's done. Right now it's just a peninsula not ready and it's not done but it's about to be done i've got to get on this because this makes it easy to go it's coming along if i had a bigger excavator i'd have a much bigger pond and if i had a boat i'd go out on the ocean and if i had a pony riding on my boat so i had this idea instead of walking around talking to myself and i'm going to see if it's going to work It's kind of working. It's just hard to do this. This stuff is so, so hard. It's like a, uh, not what I should be doing. It is almost it is so cool. I think it's cool. Yeah, I think it's cool. I think it's cool. I'm gonna get in a boat, float over that island probably someday. And uh, I'm gonna do like a, a, a Mr. Beast, Beast video where I'm stranded on an island for, you know, or no, I'll do one of those living off grid videos and I'll, and I'll swim over there or whatever. And uh, I have like I have to sustain myself, but at night I'll, I'll go back up to the base camp. And then you won't know any different because you'll think, wow, this guy's really been out there 27 days living on an island with just that tree to eat off of and those grasses. That's all I'll need is, and then a, a goose, or maybe a spider or something. That's what I'm gonna do. I'm still playing while he's working. Somebody's got to do it. Oh, it is so cool. Look at that, dude. 
It's hard for a lot of grown-ups to work with me because they take life too seriously. I take life seriously when it comes to, to the Lord and my children and my bride and my friends. And no matter what I do, I do as unto the Lord. Even when it comes to getting somebody else to dig a pond for me. It's pretty cool, isn't it? I own an island. Have I told y'all that yet? This is the part where everybody's probably saying, man, I'm really getting bored. You know what I may do? I may open a golf course on that island. I could do that. That's another idea. I'm trying to think of all the things I could do with my island. Open, wow, or a resort? Because in Florida, they put, they can put a massive hotel on like a quarter of an acre. It just goes straight up. I could build it straight up. It'll have four bedrooms straight across and then build it to the top of this and everybody to the top of that tree and then everybody could come and stay in it and at night they could look out over there and you'd have to bring your own mosquito repellent. We're not gonna provide that, so don't even ask, please. It is officially an island. I think the video is over. Um, I'll show you this again here. When everything's smoothed up and when everything is smoothed up. Thanks for watching my videos.